it is Wednesday evening. Sorry that I've um, missed a couple of days in between. Been quite busy. Um, I'm just out with the wonderful Steve. Hi. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> um, we are out um, doing our normal Wednesday activity after work, which is um, shooting. Um, so um, let's crack on and see what we can find. Have a little wander around, get our steps in. Right, photogenic Steve. Hi. What gun have you got with you today? I've got my Tika 243. Yeah? Yeah. Tika 243. Yeah. Let's have a little look. And she comes. Oh, nice. Okay, so how old is she? I would say around 18, 20 years old. Somewhere. 18 and 20 years old? 18 at least. She's, she's on that second barrel. Is she? What scope have you got on there? Got Hick Micro Alpex on there. Is that your moderator? Yeah, that's my moderator going on now. And how old is the scope? Only probably about a year at the most, not even that. Is that the one you got last year from Coombe? Yep. That came that is from Julian Fairburn, Coombe Farm Sporting. Yep. Very nice. Bit I was of with kit. you when you bought that. Yeah, it's a lovely bit of kit. Ah. Well there, Leanne. Let's see what you can see. See if you can see what I can see. You want me to see what I can find? Go on. What you were looking at. Go on. Okay. Left to right we're going. That's a nice looking sheep. Oh. Oh, hoisted up. What have you found? I found a buck. So what are we going to do? Right, we're not going to go down the right hand edge. Yeah. Because the wind's coming from the right hand side. If we get to the corner field, he'd wind us. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to go left and then we're going to hunt, always hunt into the wind. So yep. we're going into the wind, okay? Okay. And keep, keep the skyline up there and we're keeping it against the hedge. Okay. Okay, so we can't see us in that field. Okay. Thanks, teacher Steve. <laughs> I was going to say. There is. There's a hedge. <laughs> you just. <laughs> the electric bend. So we've just arrived in a gateway. Gateway. And Steve's just getting everything lined up. the distance down. He's a good old buck. We're getting to about 150, too. He's probably about How far are we from him now? 300 and something. And how close do you want to be? Really, you want to be doing 100, 100 yards. 
Do you want me to crawl 125 yards? Yeah, just keep driving. No problem. Just keep Got it. That's 10 yards. Is he itching? If not, you ready? Ready. That's the way it's done. Okay? Steve, that was absolutely. How quick is that? Instant though. Well, that's how you do it. That is going to be field to fork. I can get up now after I've. Wait, no, wait, wait, just give it a second. <sighs> be patient. Just give me. Lessons with Steve. What are the rules now? Hit it. Give him a few seconds. He's come straight down. Yep. He did. Perfect reaction to shot. Yep. He didn't even take a footstep. Nope. This is a perfect heart shot. Yep. He went straight down. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go and fetch him in a minute. There's a bit of a, a bit of wind, but I allowed for that a little bit. Yep. He's probably about 250, 300 yards, probably 250, something like that. Cracking shot. So straight down. We just give him a few seconds. Yep. And we just walk over. Check his eyes. Yep. And we check just to make sure. Cool. I tell you what, it's harder. Army crawling. I can talk now, you see. So when I was younger, my dad was in the Territorial Army and the Royal Engineers and um, dad would say that I was encouraged to go to Army Cadets. I would say forced, but I secretly loved it. Um, so I have been around rifles for years since I was a teenager. I know what you're thinking, not that many years ago. Um, we used to go to battle camps and we used to have to crawl across fields. And I would say that's the first time other than beating that I've been crawling across a field. I didn't expect that after work today. <laughs> Every day is school day. What were you pointing at? What What's said? already over it? Buzzards well, are already over it, look. Yeah. It's only just gone down. It's two of them? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where that is. That is ours, yeah. not yours. Yes. And this is going to be true field to fork, fill up the freezer natural life um yeah healthy healthy food venison is a very nutritious game meat it's very healthy isn't it yeah, lean very, very good very lean very lean very good for you slow cook it fry it roast it put in a curry opportunities are endless That's what I was naturally i'm going to get like some sort of a leg or something aren't yes. i yeah for the participation so we were just looking in the grass and we can see whereabouts it's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Bolt all out. If you're squeamish at all, now might be the time that you switch off. However, disclaimer, if you aren't into country pursuits, my channel probably isn't for you. Roebuck, let's have a closer look. So Steve, how old is the Roebuck? three years old. I've been watching him for a little while now. So yeah, he's about three. How many points has he got? He's only got two on that. So does that make him a four pointer if he's got two on each? Yeah. And we're going to take that and keep that? Yeah. And boil be it? First one. Yeah, that'll be for you to keep. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. That's quite a tidy set as well, isn't it? They're quite symmetrical. He's never going to get much bigger. He's just, just the way he is. A bit of purling around here. Curling. You know the coronets around here? Yep. So, yeah, and he's, you know, he's not a bad little buck. Got a bit of meat on him, so it'll be alright. Something for the freezer? Yeah, he got him out of the way. Field to fork? Yep. Oh, it's heavier than it looks. <laughs> they are, they are. Make sure I work out both arms. He's, he's a good workout for you. Puff, bit unfit. 
Whew. I'm fully aware that I am in jeans. Yes, I know I'm not camo before anyone comes at me. I didn't actually know that we were going stalking until I arrived at Steve's house. Um, but obviously I stayed behind Steve and then we were crawling like we were in the army. Um, so I wasn't seen, clearly I wasn't seen or smelt um, because we wouldn't have got it. Steve and I are now going to Gralic, the um, Roebuck. And so I'm not gonna be able to film it for one and two, you don't wanna see that. So I'll show you when it's done. Dear Gralic, Steve is now doing the dragging. I won't say which bit I'm carrying, but I'm sure you can probably guess. Um, but we've just got to go across this field and then a second field. Not gonna bring the Land Rover in. That's the freezer full. Um, so yeah. Steve, this is rare that I'm gonna ask this. Do you wanna swap? You really wanna try? Go, go on then. Go on then, let's swap. You have what I've got and I'll have what you've got. Get him then, oh hang on. I'm right handed aren't I? Yeah. Let me get it up on my shoulder. Anything a man can do, I can do better. Quite much faster than you, eh, Steve? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I feel my calves are burning. Cool. Yep. This is a workout. This is doing my legs. Who needs the gym? Might be a little bit unfit for beating this year. That was heavy. We've just taken it in turns from the woodlands up, but that is heavy. Think about the steps and the workout though. It's funny because when we walked through here to start off with, all the sheep were like, hello. Now we're coming back. They've all just run away. They're like, sod that. And that's, <laughs> there, off they go. There. They're like, oh no. Obviously I didn't film um, the buck being gralicked, but what were you looking for in the liver, Steve? I'm looking for fluke. For fluke? And any abnormal, anything abnormal really. Abnormalities, and did it have any fluke? Nope, all clear. All clear? Yep. Yeah, a puff? Yeah. Do you want to do you you swap? About 10 yards from the Land Rover, no. <laughs> well, you can't say I didn't offer. I did offer, I'll do the gate. Oh yeah. I'll, 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 do, I'll do the two gates. <laughs> yeah, that electric fence is on. Are you gonna step it down for me? Yeah. Cheers, hun. Over. I don't know if my shoes will. Fine. Yeah. Drag. No. One, two, three. Ba ding. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to start with you. Another reason why it's handy to have a defender, is it not? Yeah. <laughs> don't have to worry about any mess in the back. Back at the Land Rover both got our puff back and now Steve is gonna pop um, the buck into the back of the Defender. Once he's got the straps off, of course. Popping him in. This is why they shouldn't have stopped making Defenders. In he goes. Perfect. And I might just grab, which no one needs to see, the bit that I want. <laughs> so I'd like to say thank you to the lovely Steve for taking me out deer stalking tonight. Um, next time, it's my go, yeah? Yeah, should be alright. And then have fun butchering it. I look forward to getting the um, head back and a bit of meat. Cheers, Steve. See you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe.